example, but I'm super due to direct the Lex. Um, just wanted to fill you guys in on a couple of up and coming projects that I have this going on and everything. Basically, you have the, uh, the Killer Panda movie coming out. It's an independent film I've been working on for two years secretly. I got a whole bunch of new actors in it. It's going to be uh, really great. Really, really great. We also have S Hot Skaters, the DVD that'll be in the stores. Uh, it'll be all over the place. That will definitely be in the stores. It's all like, it might be two hours. I'm going to try to top it down, whatever. Um, we have a couple of new videos that I'm directing for some people. Shout out to all the people that mess with me and everything like that. And I don't say super producer director for no reason. I am very super and you know all that great stuff. And everything. I've been directing over 10 years, but like over the last two or three recently, big. And okay, basically, um, I can do a lot of different things pretty much, but. I, how it came about me like going into directing, I was sitting there one day talking to my mother, um, you know, rest in peace, moms, I love you to death, Marilyn Lennon, her documentary should be coming out shortly, but I just can't stomach for it to uh, edit it right now because it's too much for me to take in, I'm gonna try and get that put on uh, A&E, and I have like, it's like, I have so much footage on her doing different things and being active in the community and all the work that she has done and stuff like that, but she told me, to focus, pick one thing and focus on it. So that's how the directing came about and I decided to go full time. Um, like I said, I use the major equipment. I do everything that everybody else does. But the difference with me is my visual. They can direct and you can go to school for directing and all that good stuff. But you have to have some type of vision and some type of essence. Because when people watch your work, they don't want to sit there and bunch of projects coming out for the fall um don't be like afraid or scared when you see my new projects because i'm actually going into a, a different uh i don't know what they call it genre or whatever a different gear if you would and um i have a vision and a certain type of visual that i want to display to you guys and everything like that i'm not stepping away from directing music videos or anything like that until the big artists that i deal with and everything i'm still going to do those projects but basically i'm in like film mode and everything like that and I don't want any of those same thing that everybody else is doing. I'm totally against all of that. Uh, what else do I want to let you guys know? Basically, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, my I don't want to sit there and watch your work and go, oh, that's um, good quality. Like, his quality is great. Like, it's so clear. Let me explain something to you. Your videos or your movies can be crystal clear if they have no essence or no substance, no substance, or your writer is not writing correctly, it's gonna fall on deaf ears and it's garbage, it's trash. I'm gonna give it to you like that. I'm also a writer too, so most of the stuff that I put out, I've written it, the treatments, I'm done for the videos, the new movie, the trailers that's coming out, I do all that stuff myself. There's no, um, you know how people have their certain crews and all that, and shout out to all the big directors who, who know me, know my name, and I know them cool and all that stuff and everything i have no no animosity towards anyone but i'm telling you your visual your stimulation to the mind the senses that come through the eyes and feed the brain and all that stuff if you have a clear vision and you have no no direction or no visual and no motion i'm not going to explain direct and this is not directing um 101 where where i'm going to explain All the people that sneak this and paint and stuff like that, I want you to get a real close up and like look at me like um, all your sneak this and then your hating and everything and stuff like that. As you can see, like I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. I'm not gonna say I'm great because I'm broke. Like I'm okay. So all that sneak this and that hating and stuff like that, get your work done and work hard. You know, and, and that's where at the end of the day. You, it's, my goal is not to be the biggest and the most known. My goal is to be money, to have money, and you not know I have money. And that's how it works for me. I'm not going to brag and say I have this and I have that and all this and that. And like everybody else does. And they go, yo, the baller son and this and that. And when you see them, they messed up. What's wrong? You look like you're doing bad, partner. Like, I mean, what's up with that? But basically, I'm super producer, director, Lex. Um, 
And directing is not, people I get these, um, people always ask me, do I like directing? Yeah, I like it a lot because you get to see, you get to visualize what's going on in my head and my head is very, um, you know, I'm cool and everything and I'm very spiritual, but right now it's twisted with the things that I want to put visually on camera. I really can't discuss it or say too much because you got people out here who, you know, steal styles and stuff like that. Also, what you should know is that um, I produce a lot of the stuff that you watch. I just, you might not see my name in the credits, but I produce that. That's my work. I'm the man when you want to get promoted right and you want your setup and you want everything to be like spectacular and boom, should be like some stuff coming out of my hands when I do that. Um, I'm the guy you need to see when you when you really need that that type of stuff done. When you when you want professional work done, you know, a lot of people they they talk about it, but they're not really um, about it, you know. And uh, 